34 years after she was first reported missing, a Jane Doe found dead in Kentucky finally has her name. This is Linda Bennett, a mother, grandmother, sister and daughter from Columbus, Ohio. I first covered her case four years ago when she was only known as Jane Doe. I saw the evidence, the crime scene, talked to the detective about the leads and talked to the woman who found her body. Now, Kentucky State Police say they know her name and her family using DNA technology to finally break the case. At the table with a Kentucky State Police detective, crime scene photos show us exactly what the witnesses saw. It was May of 1988 in Corinth, Kentucky, a woman's body abandoned on the side of a rural road. We talked to the woman who found her. The thing I remember most, and I mentioned to the detective, wearing nothing but men's socks, and they were pulled up perfectly, uh, brown socks, just perfectly done. Joy Kelly and her husband found Jane Doe and reported the body to police. Even three decades later, she said the details of the disturbing discovery are cemented in her memory. Everything, everything about it. I remember, I, and I know what I was wearing. I know what my husband was wearing. I know what my plans were for that day. And, um, you don't, you don't forget it. She didn't forget it and neither did Kentucky State Police. Working the case rigorously for years, Detective Andre Samu showed us the key DNA evidence back in 2018. It was this, her hair, collected by the coroner at the crime scene 30 years earlier and preserved. So the coroner picked up the hair samples and put it in an envelope and saved it. This is before DNA came along. It would be that DNA sample that eventually led to a break in the case. New information leading detectives to the woman's son who submitted his DNA and it was a match. Jane Doe was identified as Linda Bennett, seen here in school photos from her childhood. Her family reported her missing to police in Ohio the same year she was found dead in Kentucky. But communication between police departments wasn't what it is today. And the missing woman was never linked to the unidentified body found 160 miles away. All it takes is maybe one little piece and it's finding that one little piece that might resolve this thing. Fast forward 30 plus years, investigative efforts are ongoing. Detectives working to turn this major breakthrough into a case closed. And the Unsolved team just revisited this case in the Beyond Bardstown Unsolved podcast. The series covers unsolved cases here in Kentucky and along the West Coast. Every episode looks back at cases which we remember. We also find new insights, share evidence, and walk you through everything the detectives have told us. You can listen to it right now anywhere where you find a podcast.